Hello everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to um, do a quick demonstration of a little app called Flippity. Now it's flippity.net. Um, I did add it as a badge, but I just wanted to, to kind of go through um, this little, this cute little website that's got all these cute little templates and tools um, for your use for your classroom. So I just want to briefly go through some of these just to give you an idea, but it's so easy to use, so user-friendly. Just get on flippity.net and then just look around. Now what it um, is really meant for is Google Sheets. So a spreadsheet format in Google Sheets, you put some information in some columns and then you um, add it to these templates that will turn it into, let me just show you some of the tools that we've got here. So I'm here, I'm on the, um, on the website here. So the, you got flashcards, so it takes every, anything you have in Google um, spreadsheet and it turns it into a set of flashcards for the kids to study. You know, the kids could use this tool to make their own flashcards um, and the flashcards can, it, it shows it and you can also kind of test yourself. Um, so very cool. A quiz show is kind of like a Jeopardy and they actually, when you go to the website, they have the demos here, the instructions, and then the, the actual template for you to actually do your thing. Um, so the demos will show you, um, what these are about. So here's a Jeopardy kind of thing. So movies, you can, um, change your teams. You can add teams here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, add teams here or subtract teams whatever you need for the teams there. You set up this, it takes your information from a Google spreadsheet. And so you click on it, what's the best movie of all time according to AFI. And they answer, and then you click on it to get the answer. You can say team one got it, or team two, two didn't get it, and they didn't get it. So you can kind of keep track of the teams there and then you click on it again and you're back to the board and you just clear the board. So, so easy. It takes the information from Google. And then um, you actually have a final, final question down here. Um, so I'm going to go back to Woody and that's the quiz show. It's like the Jeopardy. Your random name picker, here's your demo here. Um, you can actually have just a spinning wheel if you want to um, just randomly pick a name. Then you've got single name showing. Um, then you have, well, and then you have the, you can refresh it. And so you, if you're just choosing a name, you just have, oh, there's the name that pops up instead of the, the spinning wheel. Then you have a, a lining up, you have the numbers next to the names, then you have your grouping. And so you have your groups of two, three, or four, and then you can just shuffle them and it will randomly put them in groups. And then you have teams, you have two teams and you can randomly do it that way. So it's a nice little random name picker, just like it says. Um, scavenger hunt. Oh, this is so, so cool. So I know y'all love the breakouts. So this is kind of like a little digital breakout where you have your questions. Um, so if I click on a lock, what are the next three numbers in the sequence of 0, 1, 1, 2, 3? It's Fibonacci. I'm a math teacher. So, so I know 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 5 plus 8 is 13. And then you click on the key. And so this is what the kids would do. And it's unlocked. And then I go back and I see that 3 is unlocked. So you might want to do like a little review or a quiz this way, which is kind of cool. So that's the scavenger hunt. Um, I know I'm taking so much time. This is so, so cool. The flippity fun with words. It just takes some names or words or whatever, and it makes it a little artsy. I like the timeline. The timeline looks really clean um, and you can add stuff so I would definitely suggest the kids do something like this and you can condense the timeline to just the key dates or you can expand it like this when you click on something then it gives you some information I know some of these have um, videos or you can put in images so really easy to um, utilize this timeline which I think is great for the kids um, let's take a look at what else we've got. Badge tracker, kind of similar to, to Dojo or um, something that gives little badges and, and um, awards to students. Typing test. Y'all, I took typing in ninth grade. I know that it's keyboarding, called keyboarding now, but I did typing for a UIL competition in ninth grade, and I was up to around 100 words per minute. And so I had a lot of fun um, doing some of these things um, and doing a typing test. 
and I'm at 75 right now, so I still got it. I, I'm getting old, but I still got it. Um, so if you're needing to do a typing test or you have the kids practice their typing, then it's so easy. They just click on one of those things and they just type the words that they're reading and it measures um, how fast and, and with any errors. So that's your typing test. And what else we've got? Spelling words. Um, you can do spelling words and you can kind of test them on that. It kind of gives them a little quiz on the spelling words. Then you have word search, crossword puzzle, and word scramble. Those are really meant for printing out. So it takes what you've got in your Google spreadsheet and it turns it into the word search or the crossword or the word scramble. And then you print it out and you make your copies and then you're good. So um, it works really nicely that way. And bingo, you can either print out the cards that it generates or you can do a digital bingo, which is which is really cool. Um, flip. Flippity Hangman is very similar to the Hangman. So again, it takes your Google spreadsheet and turns it into a Hangman game. Progress indicators, I think it kind of is the same lines as the badge um, progress up there. So just take a look at that if you're interested in that. Then you got memory games when you flip over the cards and you're just trying to, to match up, which is cool. And then they got the mix and match. The mix and match is kind of fun. It, it takes sentences and breaks them down and then you're trying to match them together. So just take a look at that. Mad Libs tournament brackets. Um, I don't know um, what you might use that for, but who, who knows? The kids might want to use it. The certificate quiz, it just has them take a quiz like you would normally do a quiz, but they have to answer all of them correct to get a certificate at the end. So when you click on it, they put their name in that would go on the certificate. They do their quiz questions. And once they get them all right, because if they don't get it right, then they get another try. But once they get them all right, then it will flash up the certificate, which they can print out and give to you. So like I said, this works with Google um, spreadsheets or the Google Sheets. So it's also an add-on. So if you go to, I know I have a, a sheet up here. So here's my um, technology badges from the very beginning of the year. So in in the uh, when you're in Google Sheets, when you look up add-ons, you can click on that. And I've already got Flippity added. It says pick a template. And so it will take the Google Sheet that I'm in and I can choose from any of the things that I just showed you um, what how I want to use it. So it either demonstrates it or I can use it. So, um, and then if you don't want to use a Google spreadsheet, then you can just use this website. So you just go here, you'll put in um, your words or your information right here, and then you'll choose whatever template that you want to use it for. So just a cute little handy uh, website that um, I would just suggest that you take a look at it um, and see how you can maybe use it in your classroom and then let me know how you want to use it and um, look forward to talking to you.